We made it. What? I was not expecting this. We're good. We had about one hour of sleep last night. Coffee shop time. <laughs> Y'all, in Ireland, it's actually sunny for once. We're at the right shop. It's a little stroll through the town. This little market declined our cards. Got us some soup. What you doing, Sophia? Pull-ups. <laughs> We've seen a lot of less, a lot less people here today. So we just got back from our set. <laughs> so Ani's sick. That's great. She's a little stuffy. So I guess she gets the entire bed to herself. Down there, Ani, if you want. Go to the Coffee. Hobby. Well, so we just took a little nap. Sophie and I did because we went to breakfast and came back. Ani's a little sick over there. I don't know where she got it, probably the airport. Now we're gonna go change into our swimwear and go check out the hot tub. Maybe the pool. And we might have to wear swim caps, but you know, we're just gonna embrace no. embrace the caps. I don't wanna wear the cap. We appreciate how pretty this is. We're headed off to the hot tub now. Ani's finally up. I know. Ready for Whoa. some hot tub? <laughs> this is nice. Oh. Oh. Mixed sauna? Well, we just got out of the sauna. Ani couldn't breathe because she was really congested a little bit. And now we're gonna go back to the room and shower. And I look like a wet rat. <laughs> go get some soup. Part of our daily routine for lunch. So there's this little jam going on. And I wanted to go seeing Weeping Willow with this little hair on the top of my head. Ani runs away and she says right she now. doesn't want to jam. Our table! <gasps> Our table is gone. The ETSU table. And uh, she said it's because she has to go stick napkins in her nose. <laughs> I want to live. So back to the room we go. Just still thinks, you know, she's... At least we're in the gala right now. We got ready. Dressed yeah. formal. Yeah. Yeah. One thing, that initially there was this artillery bombardment that was supposed to completely obliterate the German lines. Uh, well, we're, we left the gala concert to come eat dinner because we haven't eaten since whenever we ate. And they close at... Um, <laughs> 8.30, so we had to rush over here until our um, food is eaten. And then we can go back to the concert, so that's the plan. Also, apparently gala in Ireland doesn't mean gala because nobody is dressed formal. Maybe a couple people, but everybody else is in like jeans and sweatshirts, so. Looks pretty good. So I ordered the salmon, but I didn't realize it was raw. So it's my first time eating raw salmon. 
It's gonna be lovely while they're over there eating pizza. Update, you know, I got through most of it and I think I did a pretty good job. It wasn't bad. It's just the texture. I'm just not a fan of raw fish texture, but it's okay. At least I tried something new. Oh, not my feet. I wish I had my watch on to look at my heart rate. That was crazy. That was so cool. Do you guys have any hearing lift? I don't know yet. My ears are ringing a little bit, but. Honey. <laughs> that took the living snot out of you. The living snot. <laughs> Eat breakfast. That already have our stuff. So now we get ready for bed. I think I have to do some work. <laughs> then we're gonna get ready for bed, go to sleep, hopefully not sleep in for the rest of tomorrow since we're checking out at 11. If my ears are still ringing. <laughs> the Irish men here are very beautiful. I don't know what it is, the Irish air. <laughs> I need to find me a a man here in Ireland, I guess. Do. That's all I have to say. Good night. Oops. Still light. <laughs> <laughs> Day five. We're headed off to breakfast. Time to pack up our stuff. Charlie's mom is gonna pick us up in about an hour and we're gonna head to our new hotel um, near Dublin to spend the rest of the week. The last two days, we fly home on Sunday. So we're gonna kind of explore for the last couple of days, which I'm super excited about. Bonnie is very sick. Hopefully we don't get sick from her. Goodbye room. Goodbye room. Idiot check. Idiot check. Can we get you Goodbye room. Whoa. Lisa just checked out and now we're getting ready to leave for our second hotel. On to the next. All right, time to give a little room tour now that I'm not so sick, got very car sick. 
Ani is still sick. Actual sick sick. Sophia is not sick. One thing we realized about Irish hotels, maybe this is normal and maybe it's not just in Ireland, but there's no fridges. There's no little refrigerators and there's no microwaves and that's it. But how are you supposed to keep your food cold with no fridge? I guess you don't. Here's our room. It's very small, but very cute. We have these nice tall ceilings. We have the big bed and the tiny bed. The wallpaper is cute. We have a lovely little view out here of the sun and my phone reflection. Then we have this little section over here with Ani's tea and a little closet and that. And then a bathroom. We're gonna go um, look around the hotel and find some more food. There we go. Honey, are you still wearing you your... Key? Yes. Oh, I don't know. I guess I can tell everybody who I am because everybody <laughs> needs to know. Where do you want to go? Those are just rooms up there. It's gorgeous. We are wandering on this little path. Oh, look how cute those are, though. Oh, little houses. <laughs> I need a picture. I feel like I should be wearing cottage court outfits out in that field. Where's the field? Where's the field? In Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? A door. Uh, You're not allowed to abuse. Oh, oh. Going up. Okay. I am so hungry. Wow. Oh. We should have pushed one. We got back to the room because we were thinking we would wait till three and then go eat a lunch, like a cheap lunch downstairs because it doesn't open till three. But now we just realized there's a gas station down the road. Now we're going to go. See if we can cross the highway and go to the gas station and kind of stock up on snacks so we don't have to eat lunches anymore and not spend as much money. I need to do it for you. Turn right onto the right. McDonald's. We actually found the McDonald's. Oh my goodness. The first McDonald's in the video. <gasps> a big tasty, a double McPlant, a share box cheesy garlic bite. See, I told you, there's like. Oh my goodness, there's different things. Carrot sticks, millionaire donut, pineapple stick. Oh my word, this is so cool. <laughs> What is a Euro saver? It's the dollar menu. <laughs> so we ordered a millionaire donut, whatever that is, and cheesy garlic bites. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited. Feed you one. Oh, that's, that's kind of scary looking. It tastes like what you would expect it to taste like. Mm. So that's good. This is called the Millionaire Donut. Doesn't look very millionaire, yeah, millionaire it's because it. it's so expensive <laughs> for a little. So apparently it's like caramel filling. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Not a fan. Ani didn't like it. She said it was too sweet. Was she thinks everything. It is tastes too sweet. like watery caramel. Yeah. What do you think? I would give it again if it wasn't so expensive. Yeah, it was too expensive for the size and the I didn't think it was that bad. Yorkie. <gasps> Back home we go with our new foods. And we spent probably too much money 
on food. That's not even food, it's candy. I guess Q in Dublin means line because the person came up to Ani and was like, are you in Q? So maybe he was just, maybe he just couldn't understand his accent. He said something else. Maybe he said, are you he cute? He said Q. No. Maybe he asked her if she was cute. <laughs> So update, we're locked out of our room because they're working on the door. So now we have to try our foods here in the lobby. The one thing I don't like about buying things is they don't give you bags here. What if you had a ton of stuff? I guess you have to bring your own bags. What should we try first? They have this new Yorkie. candy. They're so healthy. This is the... Tastes like a dog, Yorkie. Oh, I guess you're. Tastes like Hershey's. It tastes like Hershey's with a little bit of European. Mm -hmm. Still tastes like German chocolate to me. Coffee crisp. We got it anyway. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's really good. Mmm. Rice Krispies. It tastes like, it's like wafery. I thought these were red velvet coated, but they're not. Here's a picture. It's just colored. <laughs> mm. Kind of just tastes like chocolate coated Oreos. It's Okay, now we can explain in full-on voice what just happened. We were locked out of our room. <laughs> we just had to sit in the lobby for a little bit because they were working on the, the door. door. It's so pretty in here with the sunset. The curtains are so pretty. Ooh, look at that. So we're about to go to dinner. We're just sitting in the dark here. Sophia was reading some history and then she got distracted by... TikTok? It's Instagram. Instagram? Sophia's eating one of those tender buenos that I love. She says it's sweet. I mean, it is sweet, but it's not like overly sweet. <laughs> what? Tasty Yummy special. dinner time. Well, what about the quesadilla? <laughs> What's this? Honey, got an appetite there. <laughs> <laughs> Great little dinner we had. The person, maybe he was the chef. I don't know who no, he I was. No, I think he was like a... A waiter? Head waiter? The <laughs> chef. <laughs> he came up and he was like, how's the, how's the food? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. And we were like, oh, it's great and stuff. And he left and he came back and he asked again how it was. And we we're like, good. And he said, oh, you're American. He's like, let me guess where you're from. And so he had us talk, which I was the only talk? one talking. Yeah. And then he Why couldn't guess. Why did we guess. all talk at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> he finally guessed Georgia. And uh, he said he lived in the States in Maryland for like 10 years. So that was cool. So we talked for a little bit and told him what we were doing. He asked why we were here. And we couldn't remember where we have been for the past <laughs> few days. We didn't know where in Monaghan. Then the guy came by to take our stuff and said, <laughs> and we didn't know what he said. And so we're all like, yeah. <laughs> Every time we don't understand somebody here, we all just end up saying, yeah, together. Like we look at each other, we're like, yeah. <laughs> we're kind of loud and obnoxious, I feel like. I'm sure they're all aware that we are Americans, Americans and we're here to disrupt the hotel. <laughs> oh my god. And if I don't think that there's a spark there, then you best believe that I'll be Good morning. It is second to last day here in Ireland and Sophie is doing her makeup mm -hmm. because we are going down to breakfast. And then we're gonna head out to Dublin. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It's already raining, but the weather said it wasn't going to, so maybe it'll stop. 
Maybe it won't. Why am I out of breath? <laughs> Yet another breakfast. I'm scared of that <laughs> It's a different pier. We're going downtown. Okay, we're in Trinity College campus. And I'm getting flashbacks since we came here three years ago. Well, Kathleen and I did. It's so pretty. Okay, so they won't leave H&M even though we're only in Ireland once and we have H&M everywhere. We like to shop, okay? Beautiful sweatshirt because we're in Paris. Totally. Have to get the, <laughs> the white shoes. Something that you were trying like. So now we're trying to find a little cafe that's open. It's packed. There's so many people here. It's a Panera, you guys. A Panera. I knew there was one here in Ireland. So of course we have to go in the Disney store. <laughs> the matching sweater set. Dark. We're in the Star Wars area. Up the whole oh my goodness, Disney we just store. went shopping at Disney store and by the whole store. So <laughs> With our Disney bag. <laughs> and what did you get? A frappe. Frappe. Sabine and I got mochas. And it's very cozy. This little place is called The Cloud. We're now wandering the streets of Dublin trying to find a little booth for haunted tours. Guess where we are? <laughs> Mickey D's. We found the McPlant. There's a big tasty. The sriracha chicken. Ooh, wait, go back. That looks good. McPlant. <laughs> you know where we're going? Where are we going? Where? Mm. This is good. Very good. We got the teriyaki chicken and just white rice. Came with a drink and whatever that thing is called, a chicken on a stick, but it's not chicken on a stick. It has another name. It's very good. Starbucks because we're waiting for our tour, our haunted tour. Chilling at the Starbucks with our uh, walk. Walk in. Sorry. <laughs> Cheers. So we're about to go on the haunted tour. Very excited. I think we're gonna die. Actually looks pretty weird. We're gonna die. Okay. How are you guys? Yeah, what's the name? Forget. Hello. I'm scared. Me too. <laughs> Hello. 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 It's democracy. Now please, not running up and down the aisle while the bus is in motion. And it was an infectious. <laughs> Infectious! Do any human survivor or anyone of the race of Adam escape this plague and continue what I have begun?
Now many of us, hundreds and thousands of us, in this very place, are forever bonded to here because we <laughs> die violently. <laughs> Make sure you get my good side, thank you. Guys. It was a cold, dark evening, filled of horror and coldness and utter hopelessness is what they felt, these poor uh, women. <laughs> the two were married the two were married in this very jail hours before they killed this poor guy never to be ever together not a single moment alone for the kids yet <laughs> Irish pub, Irish pub. We just finished our tour. Now we're trying to find a taxi to get back to our hotel and go to sleep. We made it back to the hotel and we'll see you in the morning. Bye. Good night, I mean. <laughs> We're on our way to the airport and Nisa and Ani both have a sore throat. Oh, we made it. I don't feel good at all. Back home we go. So I'm pretty sure I have strength. I feel gross. What are we doing? We found chicken. Chicken at the airport. The first chicken we've had in a very long time. Finally can pay with American money. I know, and my card actually works. My money. <laughs> Sophia, where are you? 3 a.m. In Ireland time. Sophia, can you put your head up a little bit, sweetie? Welcome home. There she is. We're very thankful to have them back in one piece. Oh, boop. Hi, guys. It's Ani. It's been a few months now. It's now July, in the middle of July, almost August. We went to Ireland in February, so it's been a little while, but we forgot about um, the second half of the vlog and that trip, so we really enjoyed ourselves and it was a really good experience. Sophia and I both have never been to Europe or across the sea, so it was really cool experiencing it in that way and being able to do music overseas. One of those hotels that we stayed in were extremely nice and unfortunately we were jet lagged and Anissa and I got extremely sick, I think. And he got strep, I got like the flu, so like a lot of the time we were sleeping. I'm glad I was sick there because it would have been better being sick there than it was here. Extremely thankful that um, we got to experience that and like go to play in Ireland. That was really, really neat. Thank you for watching and um, stay tuned for the next vlog for whenever that comes out. Bye!